All right, what's going on, guys? Apologies for not uploading in the past couple days, dude. Like, I've just been kind of sick. There really hasn't been much to talk about. And, well, I just really haven't felt like making a video, in all honesty. There really hasn't been much interesting to talk about. Well, until someone actually sent me this on Discord earlier, okay? So, apparently, everyone's favorite video game at the moment. Probably the best video game ever made, if we're being honest here. That, of course, being Raid Shadow Legends. You know, the breakthrough mobile game with the console-like graphics that literally every single YouTube channel on YouTube has been sponsored by at this point well you know apparently they did something wrong on twitter and well i thought this was pretty funny so i thought it warranted making a quick video on it dude because why not i've got nothing better to do i'm literally sitting here just like trying to find a video topic at this point so let's talk about everyone's favorite mobile game now raid shadow legends is one of those microtransaction heavy like mobile games that literally exist to just milk as much money from you as humanly possible and while they have a history of basically sponsoring every single youtuber you can think of with over 15k subs like this game does not care whatsoever who it sponsors like i'm not even joking dude i've gotten like seven emails from them a day one time like they go hardcore trying to get you to promote this game and well you know i'm probably stupid for not taking the money because these promotions pay a ton dude like i'm not even joking when i say this my channel not exactly the biggest out there i would call my channel size probably like medium i don't even know dude if it's even like qualified as that now like a hundred thousand subs and all on honesty is fucking nothing on YouTube in 2020 but anyway they offered me like $500 to do like a one minute pre-roll ad at the beginning of my videos for 10 videos so that means I would have walked away with $5,000 to promote this game and I really don't have that big of a channel so you know they pay a lot of money now of course I didn't take the sponsorship I don't really like promoting stuff that I don't know about personally or something I wouldn't use personally that's just me I'm not attacking anybody else who takes the bag you know I think it's up to them what they want to do and what they want to promote on their channel but hey it's not for me whatever but this company pays a shit ton of money to get you to promote their game because they make a shit ton of money by selling microtransactions to kids dude like that's how every single mobile game works so anyway they recently took to twitter which this entire situation is absolutely retarded but anyway they took to twitter because someone originally tweeted out and i feel like we need to go through this for the full context here so just kind of bear with me here someone by the name of barnaculus nerdgasm i don't know who the fuck this is okay he's verified not a very good sign but anyway he said i bet the problem is that now youtube is including the auto generated closed captions in their analysis to determine video qualifications so if you swear too many times or say something controversial they will nail you i see why everyone is moving to pre-roll sponsors now someone by the name of some call me tippy I don't fucking know, dude. But anyway, he quote tweeted this and said, does anyone at Dollar Shave Club or Raid RPG want to help a brother out? You know, he's out there trying to get some sponsorships. I respect the hustle. But anyway, Raid Shadow Legends, the man, the myth, the legend, whoever the fuck is running the social media account, responded to this tweet and said hi there we do not sponsor we cooperate only with those youtubers who play our game and want to be our influencers we do not pay money for it alina now this is a complete fucking lie okay no one in their right mind would actually play raid shadow legends if a youtuber had not promoted that and they had to be paid to do so because let's face it dude i'm not gonna promote a shitty game that i don't like just for the hell of it i want the fucking money bro well in that case i didn't really want the fucking money because i never promoted it but anyway that's beside the point okay no one would be talking about this game if raid shadow legends was not just tossing money at everybody like crazy okay that's the reality of this situation to say that people are only talking about this game because they like it that this fucking retarded but anyway they got completely roasted for this on twitter like i think almost a thousand replies to this reply and they were just getting completely roasted dude like every single youtuber at this point it seems like has taken a sponsorship from raid at some point so anyway a couple days go by or probably closer to a week in all honesty like it took them a long time to actually respond to this controversy but the official raid shadow legends account itself posted another tweet saying hi guys some of you may have already seen the reply posted here earlier by one of our company's representatives regarding our cooperation with youtubers the reply was rather confusing and one-sided so we would like to shed some light on the situation and well what they included here is a screenshot from discord which i don't know why like this is a multi 
multi-million dollar company. Like, Raid makes bank. There's a reason they can afford to pay so many people to promote this shitty mobile game, okay? It's because these motherfuckers are probably making millions of dollars a month for microtransactions, but at the same time, they could not actually afford or take the time to put out, like, an official-looking statement. You know how, like, some companies will put out, like, that really fancy reply on Twitter that's embedded in an image, it looks really official? Well, no, these motherfuckers decided, you know what, let's just take a screenshot from our Discord server, and well, let's go ahead and read through this Discord post from, I'm assuming, a developer of the game. Hey, some of you may have already seen this response published on Twitter by one of our representatives the other day. We feel that we owe an explanation regarding this one, as the reply is rather confusing. What Alina was talking about in this tweet is our cooperation with a group of YouTube content creators, the players that create tutorials, reviews on our games, and with whom we have a direct communication channel and special support program. So first and foremost, I gotta call bullshit here because these motherfuckers pay you to make tutorials and reviews on this game, okay? Like, I have been contacted several times by them. There's been the offer to do pre-roll ads, and there's also offers to do, like, dedicated videos to this game, like making tutorials, how-to videos, reviewing the game, and when I say review, I say that very fucking lightly because they want to pay you for a positive review. So, no one is talking about this game who is not getting paid, okay? That is the harsh reality here. No one fucking cares about Raid, except the people who are getting paid to talk about it, alright? That's the reality here. So, already a problem in this reply. However, Alina was not referring to our marketing advertising campaign in the reply, which has led to confusion and misunderstanding. In any event, individuals taking part in any paid sponsored marketing campaigns through YouTube and similar platforms are obligated to include proper disclosure. We apologize for this, it was just a simple human mistake. We certainly did not mean to mislead anyone and do rely on your understanding here. That's right, guys, they rely on our understanding here. Now, this entire thing was a complete shitstorm, okay? This took them almost a week to put out this, like, half-assed response, like, oh yeah, we didn't mean that program, it was this other program they were talking about. Like, really? It took you that long to figure out what the fuck was going on here? Like, honestly, this is absolutely amazing. I think they were just hoping this entire thing would pass over, then more and more people started talking about it, so they had to actually address it. They were legitimately trying to give the impression that they were not paying people to talk about this piece of shit game that is on cell phones. That is the reality of the situation. I don't know, dude. Personally, you know, maybe I should have taken the raid sponsorship because they're definitely not going to sponsor me now after this video. But you know, if you guys, if you guys want to support me financially, I would greatly appreciate it, dude. You know, I did drop some merch, bro. Shameless plug time. But yeah, anyway, if you want to check out the merch, I would greatly appreciate it. Big shout out to Ghosty on YouTube. I think he's a member of the channel too. That dude's fucking awesome, okay? He bought some merch. I actually got my sample pack, which I think it actually turned out pretty good. It doesn't look like YouTuber merch too, which I personally like. But anyway, yeah, shameless plug out of the way. If you guys want to check it out, the link will be in the description. I would greatly appreciate it, dude. And it makes it less and less tempting for me to take shitty sponsorships like Raid Shadow Legends. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this video today. If you did enjoy it, you know what to do, man. Feel free to drop a like on it. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you are new here for some fucking reason, YouTube actually decides to recommend my videos to people. I mean, feel free to subscribe, man. I feel like I should say that more often, but hey, fuck it, bro. Anyway, guys, with that said, I want to thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day to check out this video and for all the recent support as well. And I will catch you guys next time.